have you ever wanted to edit Serum skin to change the logo, to change the color scheme, to change anything? What we've done is we've built a Photoshop template that is easy to use, easy to edit, and you can literally edit any part of Serum skin. This can be downloaded from the Audio Animals website via the link below this video. So let's have a look at exactly what it is you can edit from within Serum. First of all, you've basically got the front panel. Each of these parts are editable. Um, you've got the effects section. Put your logo in here. Change all the color scheme on the racks. Change the colors of your racks. Change, put your logo into the racks. Then we've got the matrix. This is all editable. Uh, you can change the color scheme on this. Global, change, put your logo into here change all the background uh, we've even gone so far as to change the menu so you can add your logo into the menu uh, change the color on the menu uh, we've also got in the about section you can edit it to show your own background so what we'll do now is open Photoshop and show you how easy it is to edit so what we have here is all the Photoshop PSDs uh, for each element of Serum that can be edited. Uh, if we open up the main window, now if we look at what the layers incorporate, we'll first start by removing each one. So basically it starts off with a black background then we have the keyboard then we have the layer background layer this is the layer of the skin of the original serum then we have the bottom the middle and the top they're broken down into separate layers so you, you can change the color scheme and the styles of each layer then we have the screen which is at the top then we have the knobs and the headers and then we have the headers for the macros which are here then we have the headers at the bottom for all the parameters the middle parameter headers we've kept these separate into separate folders just so that when you edit them you can edit each section to change the color uh, so you get the right shade for each of the uh, background colors uh, the fixed header and then we have the text and the images which incorporate the keyboards and then the logo changing color for each section is relatively simple so if we go to the backgrounds of let's say the middle take that off and all you do is just hit color overlay and change the color we'll go to something like a green we can change that to green and change that to any sort of green let's go over that was a nice one let's go there then we'll go to the bottom hit color overlay and we'll put that as another green but we're going to go a bit darker let's go darker on the bottom section to so say say around there and then what we really want to do is we want to keep the contrast between the top and bottom so if we copy the layer style and paste that into the top we'll then get that up top we then want to match the headers so the top headers here put the color overlay on and we'll choose a nice green and let's go something up there that'll do then the headers for the macros again color overlay select a green that's a nice enough green and then headers on the bottom color overlay and let's select a green let's go with something a little lighter something around there that'll do okay so now we have the background change to the color scheme that we wanted we can now change the keyboard um, to the light to match so let's put that as green and then make it quite 
grab let's go over around there okay we've got the middle headers still to do so this one we're gonna hit green and we're gonna make them let's go with something around there just to make them pop a touch so that's now our color scheme for uh, the green serum template now what you can do which is nice is go to the background middle and open the effects and add a pattern overlay and now you can kind of make it into kind of army camo style if you wanted you can switch to this so you can add various different effects to really make the skin stand out okay so now what you're going to want to do is save that as a png so you're going to want to put that into your serum skins folder which is located in documents same place as your presets go to skins go to two times and save and replace now when we open serum we're going to have our skin layered in now you'll notice that this section is separate to the uh, to the main skin so what needs to be done there is we need to now open this one so we open the template for that and the easiest way to do this is to get the background top copy the layer style move it over to here and paste it onto the layers then hit file save as save that and then you're saving that into the same place you saved the original one switch to png now every time you uh, load a new skin in new part to the skin in you will need to reopen serum Now you'll notice that the skins match so next you can do the effects section here and do that we open the effects rack which is this one okay so the best way to do this is go into the color overlay click the color copy the uh, code for the color code open your next part click color overlay and then all we got to do is paste this code in same again with this section and then same again with this section so all we need to do now is save that as a png to our serum skins folder make sure you replace it so now if we open serum again you'll notice that when we go to the effects section this is all changed to our color scheme so you can make you can make the uh, color scheme as wild and wacky as you want you can take a lot of time over it and uh, really make it very detailed or you can just change the colors you can of course remove our logo and replace it with your own one thing you'll notice is that serum is in two layers uh, one times and two times this is down to the scale so that being one this being two times bigger so what you have to do is in the file system you have one times and two times so we have supplied the templates for both of these so what you will need to do is make two different versions one for the scale of one one for the scale of two times now this is easily done you just go to image image size and change this to 50 which is half the size you then file save as and you put that into one times now change that 
the two to zero and save it as a PNG. This will overwrite the original one. Now what you'll find is when we go into Serum, if we open Serum and in the one time scale, if we now go to the effects rack, that has changed. So that will need to be done for every single part that you make. You'll need a two times version and a one times version. Like I say, easiest way to do it is to go to image, image size, and change it to 50. So to build your own serum skins, it's as simple as that. Download the template in the link below and start building your own uh, and enjoy.